one, Emma's reading one of our favorite storybooks, Spells and Space Trolls, book one. The brave adventurers made their way from the mystical mines of Moomoo and on towards Mount Boom. But can the heroes survive the spooky woods? The bridge of Crackaboom and the scary space trolls? <gasps> <laughs> Find out in book two. <gasps> <sighs> what are we going to do now? We'll have to wait forever to find out how the story ends. I have an idea. Why don't we have an epic adventure? Let's act out the book and make up an ending of our own. Yeah! yeah! Great idea! And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. somewhere we can have an epic adventure and act out the ending of our book. That sounds fantastic. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Sports can be full of action and drama, but I don't think it's the right place for a storybook make-believe. Ooh, sticky candy is excellent. But it doesn't seem right for a story either. What about that one? Yeah, Storybook Planet would be great. Yes, that's the perfect place for you to act out a fantastic story adventure. Now, get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. <laughs> Greetings, travelers! Who comes looking for adventure on Storybook Planet? I'm Rob. These are my friends Orbit, Emma, and TK. And we're here to act out one of our favorite stories. It's called Spells and Space Trolls. <laughs> if you're going to act out a fantastic fairy tale, you need to look the part. Just step through the costume maker, and you'll soon be ready to step into your story. <laughs> mm. Wow, Orbit, you look amazing. Not Orbit, I'm Orbal the Orange, a mighty wizard. <laughs> Make way for Eminem the Barbarian, fearless and strong. <laughs> I'm Lagless, the super speedy elf princess, ready for action. <laughs> I'm Robagorn the ranger. Ranger, barbarian, elf, and wizard. You are the fellowship of the robots. Your adventure awaits. Oh. Now, take this magic bracelet. It will help you to find your way back to the rocket. What do you mean, back to the rocket? It's right th Huh? huh? Wow, that's strange. One thing between you all. Leave no friend behind. The magic bracelet leads the way. The rocket you must find. The bracelet will guide us. Huh? Whoa! Huh? Huh? Come on, the rocket must be this way. It's just like in the storybook. The adventurers arrived at the dark and spooky woods. <laughs> the <laughs> ghosts of the woods will let you pass if you leave us a gift, something that will last. 
ghosts. They're not real, everyone. It's just a story, remember? Well, I'm not afraid. Give me the bracelet, and I'll go on ahead and come back for you once I reach the rocket. What you must give is worth a lot, and with each other, lose it not. But if you fight, you'll have to mend this gift I seek that rhymes with end. I know what the ghost wants. Oh, great spirits of the spooky woods. What will you give us to let you pass? We'll give you our friendship. Friend rhymes with end. Yes, you may pass the woods safely. <laughs> you did it, Orbit. <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh, wise wizard Orball, the path is this way. Right, I knew that. Adventurers explore the cosmic caves where they encounter the bridge of Crackaboom. Isn't this where they also meet? <laughs> seem to be having so much fun. <clears throat> I thought I'd like to play along in your adventure, too. Hey, wait, where's the bracelet? Oh, no, Squeak has the magic bracelet. How will we find the rocket Neo? TK, you must have something in your tummy trunk that will get Squeak to come back. In Eminon, if Squeak can be lured back, someone will have to snatch the bracelet. But what about you guys? I've got my rocket boots. I can pull the others out. Hurry and get Squeak, or we'll never get the bracelet back. I've got just the thing to catch Squeak. Squeak's mouse food. Good thinking, TK. You stay here and shake the box. <laughs> Squeak! Dinner time! Oh, gotcha! Yeah! Nice going, Eminem. Mm. <sighs> Rob! You <laughs> did it! You got the bracelet! Mm -hmm. Every one of us has a job in this fellowship. And yours is carrying this bracelet to lead us back home. The mighty adventurers journeyed past the spooky woods, through the cosmic caves. With friendship and teamwork, they made it to Mount Boom, where they found their rocket. I'd say that's an epic mission.
mission accomplished. Yeah! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we didn't know how our story ended, so we went to Storybook Planet to act out our own adventure. But we all got carried away and forgot about our fellowship. Every role is important, but they only tell a story if they all work together. Well done! I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up! Five! Instrument. I don't have an instrument. Not even symbols? You can have mine! <sighs> no, not even symbols. There must be something you can play. Nothing at all. There's got to be some instrument you can play. You just have to find it. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. an instrument Emma can use in the Galaxy Pop Concert. Oh, I love music. Do you play an instrument? Didgeridoo I? I play the didgeridoo. Here, listen. Everyone plays an instrument except me. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find something perfect for you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Monkey spend too much time playing music, Orbit. We'll visit there another time. Look, Emma, Book Planet. That looks like fun. That's a good place to read about instruments, but not so good for playing them, TK. Band Planet. That could work. Yes, the Band Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your
should try something else. <sighs> bad, bad, huh? Hey, what's that? That's a saxophone. It's a woodwind instrument. Wood? But it's made of brass. It's called a woodwind instrument because it has a wood reed that you blow into. <gasps> uh, that's not the way it usually sounds. Here, let me show you. Mind if I switched my kazoo for a saxophone in our band? Uh -uh. No problem. Let's keep looking. <laughs> What's this thing? It's an amplifier. An amplifier changes the sound and makes the guitar louder, like this. That was awesome! Do you think I could play that? Give it a try and see. your instrument. What if I can't play anything? <sighs> Everyone can play something. We just have to keep looking. Hey! This looks cool! <laughs> it's a drum set! I've always wanted to try one of these. Ooh! Hey! We're the drumsticks! We can't play without drumsticks. I can help with that. Aha! Oh, wrong drumsticks. Drumsticks! I think these are too big for these drums. Hmm. Here we go. Will these work? They're perfect! <laughs> Do it. I can't play the song at all. It's not hard, Emma. See? Wow, Orbit! Yeah. That was great! Oh! Drums are awesome! I'm never gonna find an instrument I can play. Rob has a saxophone, TK has the guitar, and Orbit has drums. Yes, Embos! <laughs> And I can't even play the song I want to play. All I want to do is play... La, 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 la. That's it! That's what? Your instrument. It's you. I'm not an instrument. No, Emma's instrument is her voice. And every band needs a singer. Oh, right. Great idea. Do you think it will work? Of course. Your singing is great. Oh, I know something that can help. How do I look? Like a pop star. Is everyone ready? Yeah! Then one, two, ready, go!
Mission Control? <laughs> Sorry, Rob. Just practicing my solo. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... <laughs> find an instrument she could play in the Galaxy Pop Contest. Playing notes in the right order is harder than it seems, but TK was really good at it. Then Emma tried the drums, but Orbit was really good at those. Emma sang us a few notes of the song she wanted to play, and that's when we realized Emma's perfect instrument is her voice. The perfect thing for your band. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Goodbye, Band Planet! Cleaning up the rocket, but we're almost done. <laughs> Ooh. Huh? can I help you today? We've been working hard all day, and we want to have some fun. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Should we go to the bedtime planet to have fun? <sighs> no, that's a better place for a nap, not to have fun. Is the vacuum planet a good place to have fun? I think we've had enough vacuum cleaners for today. Do you think we can have fun on the playground planet? You've got it. The playground planet is the perfect place to have fun. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
ride in the whole galaxy. Let's go. turn being the leader. Okay, I was thinking we could try a merry-go-round. Hop on, everyone. Quick, follow me. I'm the leader. Uh, guys, I thought... Hurry up, Orbit. You don't want to miss the fun. Just don't go too fast, because I get sick when I get too dizzy, and... Oh! <laughs> Bit. You don't have fingers, remember? Oh, right. Okay, so Rob, I was thinking that. Great idea, Orbit. It's Rob's turn. Rob's the leader. Let's go. Follow me. Turn is leader. Huh? We didn't give you a turn? Oh. 
We're so sorry, Orbit. It's okay. Come and dance with me. I'm the leader. Follow me. Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, our mission was to have fun. So we went to the playground planet. We slid down the big slide, and then we played follow the leader. But we were having so much fun, we got carried away and stopped listening to our friend. We forgot to give Orbit his turn. That wasn't nice of us. And because we weren't paying attention to Orbit, he almost floated off into outer space. Until TK found a trampoline. And then everyone bounced with me on the trampoline. It was the best. Well, that sounds like it ended on a high note. You should always be considerate of your friends. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Playground Planet! You're just in time. Emma's gonna read us a story from her favorite storybook. Ah! Someone's been nibbling on my favorite storybook. <laughs> I think I know who did it. He's blue and has a wind-up key in his back. Squeak! Oops, he must be hungry. I forgot to feed him. Week, the box is almost empty. There's not enough mouse food in here, even for you. Oops. That's why Squeak nibbled on your book, Emma. He was hungry. Well, he can't keep eating my book. Certainly not. Books aren't very good for him to eat anyway. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? Squeak is out of food, and he started eating Emma's books. We need to find something for him to eat. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, the bowling ball planet. Bowling is fun, but maybe later. No, we won't find anything to eat on the playground planet. Now that looks like a place where we can find something for Squeak to eat. Even robot mice love cheese. Yes, the cheese planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Thank <laughs> you. 
stop, the cheese planet. For Squeak here will be the easiest mission ever. Don't you mean the che easiest mission ever? <laughs> uh oh, come back, Squeak. We'll collect some cheese for you. I think we just got a new mission to get Squeak before he gets lost. That's not gonna be cheap. out either. Maybe it will. Rob, you stand there.
So it wasn't just Squeak we were chasing. It was other mice, too. But which one is our Squeak? TK, did you bring Squeak's food box? I did, but it's almost empty. Because I think I know how we can tell which one is Squeak. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn in your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Cheese Planet to find food for Squeak. But when we got there, he was so excited, he ran away. We had to search through a lot of cheese and a lot of Squeaks in order to find him. When we did, he was with a whole lot of other mice who looked exactly like him. I knew there was really only one Squeak, so I decided to shake his box of food, and Squeak was the only one who came to us. Even though the mice all looked the same, we learned that they were each different in their own way. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye. Go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. <laughs> Clean up planet? I don't think that's a very good place to race. Maybe we'll need to go there and wash up afterwards. <laughs> Paint planet would be great. It sure would. But it's not really a place to have a race. Hmm. Race flags and a race track. That's exactly what we need. Yes, the race planet. Perfect choice. But remember, racing isn't all about winning. You have to have fun and play fair. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Bye. 
Red Riders. Choose your racer. There are so many to choose from. TK, which one should we choose? Wow! Look at that one! Ready? Buckle your seatbelts. Sure, this is the fastest. Buckle up! Hold on! Emma? what we need. A coin! This might work. Awesome! Uh, Rob, I think we need a recharge. Don't worry, Orbit. We have tons of power to finish the race. Besides, can't stop now. We're winning! Straight. Which way do we go? Buckle up again. We've got to make up for lost time. Emma, you can't go off the track. That's cheating. No, it isn't. Besides, Rob's not playing fair either. Just because he's not playing fair doesn't mean we have to cheat too. We have a better racer. We can win. But this is faster. The arrow pointing left looks like it goes to the mountains. The arrow pointing straight looks like it's going towards the water. Is that where we need to go? Checkered flags are used at the end of a race. That's it, the end of the race. We follow the sign that points to the right. Seatbelts on.
I did not cheat. You went off the track. That's cheating. You cheated. No, you cheated. You both cheated. Don't you get it? If you don't play fair, this is what happens. Neither of you wins. Cheating means you're not really racing at all. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Hey, we're really sorry, guys. We forgot what the real spirit of racing is about. It's about doing your best. And supporting your friends. Not leaving them behind. Way to go, Squeak. You're a great racer. You played by the rules. And you know what happened? You won. We got to bring our pods back to the starting line. It's a long way back to the rocket. I'll race you. <laughs> <laughs> Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we wanted to have a practice race to see who was the best racer. We decided Race Planet would be the perfect place. We also learned that if you break the rules, it can be dangerous. But the most important thing was that you shouldn't forget about your friends. And losing to your friend is still a bit like winning, because you can be happy they did well too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye. our very best. Now, where did I put the camera? Hmm. <laughs> oh, thanks, Squeak. You found it. I don't know, TK. These ones just don't seem to fit right. Hmm. Maybe try retracting your antenna a little. Like this.
help you today. We want to dress Emma up like a robot, so we need to find a place with robot parts. Oh, dress-up time is always fun. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, Jigsaw Planet! Solving Jigsaw puzzles is a lot of fun, but it's not the right place for finding robot parts, Orbit. Oh, I love playing sports. Sports Planet sounds awesome, but I don't think we'll have much luck with our mission there, TK. Ooh, what about this planet? It looks like it has a ton of spare robot parts. You chose Spare Part Planet, the perfect place to create a robot costume. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! For Emma. Exactly. But if she can't talk, and if she can't walk, Emma might realize she's awesome just the way she is. That's our real mission. Isn't being a robot great, Emma? Not good. TK, 
Okay, we need something to help us get Emma's attention. Nope, not loud enough. Nuh-uh, still not loud enough. What about this? A megaphone! Perfect! On the count of four, everyone. One, two, three... Emma! Help! <gasps> You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> Emma was unhappy that she didn't look like the rest of us. So we traveled to Spare Part Planet to make her a robot costume. But our real mission was to show Emma she's perfect, just the way she is. She wanted to fit in so badly, she didn't realize how clumsy all that heavy stuff was making her. We looked around for other ideas and ended up getting stuck on a giant magnet. Magnets attract certain types of metal like iron, and we're loaded with iron. We needed our non robot friend to help us. Emma saved us by just being herself. She was able to do some amazing things that we could never do. We're all a bit different, and that's what makes each one of us special. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one! <laughs> Goodbye, Spare Park Planet! painting a picture for us, and he's almost finished. <gasps> What's wrong, Orbit? The flower. Oh, dear. Your flower looks sick. There must be a way I can make it better. I'm sure there is, but how? Oh, we need to go somewhere to make Orbit's flower better so he can finish his painting. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> to pick a planet. you orbit. But his flower is sick, and we need to find a place that will help us make it better. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, poor Bobby Planet. Yum, buttery. Smells nice, but I don't think we'll find any flowers there. Mm. We'll go to 
Toolbox Planet some other time, TK. Right now, we need flowers, and I don't think we'll get them there. Hmm. Now that looks like somewhere we can get help for Orbit Sick Flower. Yes, the flower bed planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. much of a flower bed planet. I can't see any flowers anywhere. There must be some around somewhere. About that. Hi, I'm the gardener. Hi, I'm Rob. These are my friends Emma, TK, and Orbit. Nice to meet you. Why did those bees attack us? I'm afraid that's my fault. You see, those are honeybees, and they need flowers. There used to be flowers here. Flowers make nectar. Nectar is a kind of sweet liquid flowers make for bees. They collect it and use it to make honey. So the bees need every flower they can find. Like my flower. They weren't chasing us. They wanted your flower. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wow. That's a lot of bees. A while ago, my water sprinkler broke. Without water, the flowers wouldn't grow. So they all vanished. Oh, oh, I can help you fix it. I'm sure I've got just the thing to fix it. Hairbrush? Nope. Keys, but that's not going to help. Aha! That's what I was looking for. Some oil from this oil can will get that device moving. Oh, that feels great. That's been stuck for so long. What's he doing? Watering the plants. Once these are watered, and I make sure they get plenty of sunlight, they'll grow into a field of healthy, bright, beautiful flowers. Yay! And then the bees will have nectar to make their honey. <laughs> now, now, there's no need to go frightening everyone like that. This 
will be a garden full of flowers just for you. These will become flowers? What do they need? Good ground, sunlight, and plenty of fresh water. And now we wait for the flowers to grow. It's great. Um, isn't it taking a long time? Yeah. I mean, I don't see anything happening. Oh, no. We won't see anything happen for days, maybe even weeks. Huh? Uh. Well, as the keeper of Flower Bed Planet, I can help that along, but I normally like to wait for it to happen naturally. Hmm. If there's a way you can make the flowers grow faster, I think it would be great. And the bees do look hungry. I wish I had my flower back. If I just watered it and gave it lots of sunlight, maybe it would get better. Where are they off to so quickly? I think I know. My flower! your painting. Ha ha ha! All right! That's wonderful! We love it! Great new painting! And you put all the important things in that help flowers grow. The gardener who plants the seeds, water, sunshine, and the bees. I'd say that's mission accomplished! Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Orbit wanted to paint a picture of a flower, but the one he had was droopy and losing its color. So we went to Flower Bed Planet. But when we landed, we couldn't find any flowers, just some angry bees who chased us away. We soon met the gardener, who was broken and couldn't water his plants, so TK helped fix them. He showed us plants and flowers need water and sunlight to grow big, bright, and strong. We also learned that bees do something really special. They take nectar from the flowers and make honey. And Orbit finally finished his painting and even got a pot of honey from the bees. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, Flower Bed Planet! Hi, everyone. You're just in time.
dance routine without music. We need to find music. Um, uh, hey, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. But we broke our stereo. We need to find a place that plays music so we can learn a dance routine. Oh, I love dancing. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, pirate planet. A pirate adventure would be exciting, Orbit, but it's not the right place for practicing a dance routine. Oh, I really like playing board games. Board game planet sounds like fun, but I don't think it's the right place to find a music player, TK. What about this planet? It looks and sounds like it might do. You chose music planet, <laughs> the perfect place. Get ready for countdown. choose from. Emma's right. We'll just keep searching until we find one that suits your cool wheel. But we only have one day to the competition. There's not enough time. Come on, we'll find something we can all dance to. without you. 
TK, I promise we'll find a dance that's perfect for you. You'll see. Let's try this record player. Hey, check it out. Rock and roll box. I love rock and roll. Tummy trunk we could use? Hmm. Uh, hmm. One little balloon won't be enough to lift you up. Oh. Hmm. Aha! This trampoline would bounce you high enough to reach, but it wouldn't be very safe. Aha! A car jack. It's used for changing flat tires. We can use the jack to lift you up. to choose from. Oh, this one sounds like fun. It's called the Robot Boogie. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we were trying to find a dance for the Intergalactic Space Dance Competition. So we traveled to the Music Planet. There were all sorts of music players, and each one of them played a different style of music. We learned so many cool new dance moves. We needed to find a dance that would work for all of us. We then tried a dance called the Macaroni, but without hips, TK couldn't finish some of the moves. She was getting very discouraged. So then we tried dancing to rock and roll. All of us really liked it, but I got a little carried away and hurt my foot. That's when we found an old jukebox. We never gave up, and guess what? We found the perfect dance for all of us. The robot dance. Good mission, Rob. Well done. We'll be just in time for the dance competition. Better buckle up. Five.
Grandma, what's in the bowl? That's my pet fish, Stripey. Ooh, it looks so cool. TK, you gotta see this. Ooh. It's Emma's fish, Stripey. Fish! He's so cute. I get it. You named him Stripey because he's got three stripes. One, two, three vertical stripes. Vertical? Vertical means the stripes go up and down. I'd love to float the way he does in the water. I like him. Uh, 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 Stripey sad. He does look sad. What's wrong, little guy? Uh, he's normally more playful. Well, let's take him out to play with us. No. He can't come out of the bowl. Fish need to stay in water. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find a way to cheer him up. <clears throat> Aw, thanks, everyone. You really are my best friends. Yeah, that's it. Stripey needs a friend. <gasps> Did you hear that, Stripey? Would you like someone to play with? That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We have to find a fishy friend for Stripey. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, yummy, the veggie planet. Would we find Stripey a friend on the veggie planet? No. Would we find fish on the bouncy ball planet? Nope. Not the bouncy ball planet. Would we find fish on the ocean planet? Yes, the ocean planet. Excellent choice for finding a fishy friend for Stripey. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. for Stripey. I think a whale is a bit too big to fit in Stripey's bowl. We need to find someone more his size. Come on, everyone. Let's go find a fishy friend for Stripey. fish at all. Search the whole 
potion for fishy friends. Hmm, TK, we need something that will help us search. Something we can use to see really far. Hmm, magnifying glass? Nope. Glasses? Hmm. Nuh uh. Yeah! This telescope is just what we need. Wow! Everything looks so much closer. Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma's fish Stripey wasn't happy, so our mission was to find him some fishy friends. We needed to find a place where fish live. And the ocean planet was the right place. It had a lot of different strange creatures living there. Some were huge. Others were very strange and a little scary. We learned that a telescope can make it easier to see things that are far away. We also learned how much fun it is to make new friends, even if they look a little bit different. Our crabby friends sure were helpful. Then we found a plant that had a pattern just like stripies. And in that plant, there were a lot of other fish, and they looked exactly like stripies. And Emma decided Stripey would be happiest if he stayed with all his new fishy friends. Well done, Rob. Mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Five, four, three, 
Everyone, you have a space mail message from another galaxy. Hmm, who's it from? It's from TK's cousin, Rika. Rika? Really? Can we hear it? Of course. <laughs> Still a wing name, TK. Huh? Hmm, that's your cousin? What did she say? <sighs> I don't know. Rika speaks Robozanian, a robot language. It's only spoken on her planet. I don't know how to speak it. Mission Control. You know lots of languages. Can you tell us what Rika is saying? Rika says, hello, TK. Oh. <laughs> but unfortunately, hello is the only word I know in Robozanian. Oh, that's nice of her to write. I just wish I could speak Robozanian. Then we could talk to each other. Oh, why don't you learn how to speak her language, TK? Oh, Orbit, that's a great idea. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hello again. How can I help you? We need to help TK learn another language. Yeah! The Robozinian language. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, Circus Planet! That looks like fun. Hmm, it does, but I don't think it will help TK learn another language. Time Planet! Me! <laughs> Do we have time for another planet? I don't think this one will help TK either. Language planet. That's perfect. Yes, the language planet. Wonderful choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the language planet. wants to learn another language, so she can speak to her cousin from another galaxy. Wonderful! What language do you wish to learn? Uh, my cousin speaks Robozanian. Robozanian? Yes! We have just the language book to help you. It's sitting on the cart, waiting to be uh -huh. Uh -huh. shelved. Oh dear, it seems Jonah has taken it away. Who's Jonah? He's my brother. He's also our clerk. It's his job to keep everything organized. Hmm. Come on, maybe we can catch up to him. Wait, there's a 
something you need to know about Jonah. Oh, oh, oh. Is over there. Yoo-hoo! Over here! Jonah! Hmm. Oh no! Hmm. He's a speedy little guy, isn't he? Don't worry, we'll catch him. Right, Emma? <laughs> Clean up here. Okay. Come on, TK. Hello? Jonah? We need to ask you something. Uh, maybe he didn't hear me. Jonah! I bet he heard me that time. Hmm. I think he's ignoring us. We'll see about that. Talking book. A Spanish talking book. Neat. What a great way to learn a language. Konnichiwa. Hello. Wow. This one is Japanese. Hmm. I think this one is Alien 101. Zing Zang Zuna. Greetings. There sure are a lot of languages. You can say that again. There sure are a lot of languages. <laughs> he sure is a speedy little guy. We need to get his attention somehow. Wait, that's it. Do you have anything that makes a lot of noise? Um, maybe. Let's see. A cowbell. This should work. Mm. Mm. Still not loud enough. Aha! Mm. That's pretty loud. Uh -huh. I'll say. Please, you must be quiet in the language library. Oh, we're sorry. We were just having trouble getting Jonah's attention. I had tried to tell you earlier. Jonah can't hear you. And he only knows sign language. Sign language? What galaxy is that from? Sign language is used in many galaxies. Usually by those who are deaf or hearing impaired. Oh, Jonah is deaf. And that's why he didn't answer us when we called out his name. He couldn't hear us. Oh. <laughs> says good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too. Oh, but if Jonah can't hear, then we need to sign with our hands if we want to speak to him. Right? That's right. But we don't know sign language. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see how he does it. Good afternoon, Jonah. Hmm. Very good. It just takes some practice. Can we ask Jonah where to find books on how to speak Robozanian? Yes, this is the sign for Robozanian. Hey, this is fun. And this is the sign for book. If you put them together, you have... Robozanian book. Jonah, do you have the Robozanian book? Zula Wingding. Hello. Yeah. You did it, TK. You're speaking Robozania. Can I borrow the book so I can learn more words and practice? I'd say this is a big mission accomplished. Thanks to Jonah and the language librarian. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet in the language library. <laughs> Mission Control? 
Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the language planet to help TK learn a new language so she could speak to her cousin Rika. We learned there are lots of different languages out there. Konnichiwa, that's the Japanese word for hello. We discovered that not everyone can hear, like our new friend Jonah. Jonah helped to teach us about a very special language where you only use your hands, sign language. Like every language, it just takes practice to learn. Wonderful. It sounds like you learned a lot. Mission accomplished. Now, I think it's time to go home, don't you? Five, four, three, two, one! Yeah! Goodbye, Language Planet. Japanese art of paper folding. You can make all kinds of wonderful things out of paper. Like a paper airplane. Let's go to the origami planet. <laughs> origami planet. The perfect place. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
amazing! Paper flowers and animals! Wow! Everything is origami here! So, where can we start origamiing? Right here! <gasps> Okay, Orbit, how do we make a paper airplane? First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. A rectangle has two sides longer than the other sides. Hmm, mine is square. All the sides are the same length. Uh, I'm sure it'll still work. Wait, Emma, I think we have to follow the steps. Orbit, what do we do first? Fold it in half like this. Then you, then <gasps> Emma, Orbit didn't finish telling us what to do. Oh, he was going too slowly, so I decided to wing it. Get it? Wing it? <laughs> <laughs> Follow the steps and take your time. That takes too long. All done. Your plane looks different. What did you do? I just followed Orbit's instructions. Slow and steady. And added a couple of extra folds on the wings. Hmm. Slow and steady. I can do that. I think. Okay, Orbit. One more time, please. I promise I'll listen this time. First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. Rectangle, please. Thank you. Neo, fold it in half from left to right. Hmm. Left hand is here. Right is here. So left to right. Neo, fold one corner back like this. Like this? Yeah, and do the same on the other side. This isn't so hard. Oh, I want to decorate my plane. Oh, I can help you. Mm. Mm. It doesn't have teeth, does it? Spatula? No, we're not cooking it. Markers? Perfect. Thanks, TK. I'm done. I did everything exactly like Orbit said. Looks good, Emma. Does it fly? I don't know yet. Here it goes. Hold on, Rob. The mission isn't accomplished yet. I've got an idea. Ready for takeoff. Three, two, one, let go.
Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma wanted to learn how to make a paper airplane, so we went to the origami planet. We learned all about origami, or Japanese paper folding. There are lots and lots of fun things you can make with just a sheet of paper. When Emma tried to make her paper plane too quickly, it didn't turn out very well. But when she slowed down and listened carefully to the instructions, she had no trouble at all. Doing things quickly is fun, but sometimes it really pays off to slow down, listen, and do it right. <laughs> and now that I know how, I can make a paper airplane anytime I want. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Oregon Planet. here. 
were right, Emma. This isn't anything like a tasty dessert. It might not be raining, <laughs> but the desert is way too hot. something that can help. Hmm. <gasps> it's too warm to dance. The xylophone won't help. A hammer's a great tool, but not the right one for this job. A fan! looks too warm. There are other parts of the weather planet we could visit. We could fly the rocket somewhere the weather is cooler. Cooler. Good. <sighs> Let's go! There! It's snowing! Much better. Not hot at all. to walk on. are also a kind of frozen water, and every one of them is slightly different. Cool. No, cold. <laughs> it is cold. <laughs> Too cold. Don't you think? Rob! Rob, it's too cold. The rocket can't even move. Oh, no! How can we warm him up? Well, I wasn't cold when I was skating. And we weren't cold when we were playing. We need to move to get warm. And I know just what to do. Great idea, Rob. Moving around will definitely warm us up, but we've got to get the rocket moving as well. Just keep dancing. Come on, Rocket. You can do it too. Place to play. Not too hot and not too cold. I know. Follow me. This is great. The perfect place to play. And build. And it's 
not raining here either. We had the perfect place to play all along. <laughs> <laughs> not too warm and not too cool. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> it was raining, and we wanted to find a place to go that would cheer us up. Somewhere it wasn't raining where we could play. We learned that a desert isn't something sweet to eat. That's a dessert. A desert is a place that almost never rains. But the one we found was way too hot to play in. So we went to another part of the weather planet where it was snowing. There we learned that when it's really cold, water freezes. It turns into ice and even snowflakes. But there, it was so cold that the rocket couldn't move. We decided to dance and move around in order to get warm again. We finally picked a place that was just right. Back inside. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, Weather Planet! showing us how to use our new color popper. It's really easy, Orbit. You just pick the color you want to use, and then... Wow! Let me try, please. Let's see. My favorite color is orange. Wow! It really works. What else can I pick? We're painting with a color popper. Yeah, I look silly. We need to find a place where we can put things back to normal. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. I love playing soccer. It looks like fun, but I don't think it will help us fix our colors. Mmm, <sighs> tasty in salads, but we'll go to the onion planet when we've got our colors sorted. like a place where we can fix our colors. <laughs> yes, the paint planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown.
paint planet. Popper in here. And... find that painter robot again. Maybe he can help us find some orange paint. Let's go. are dirty. They are. Uh. <laughs> no wonder you've been painting everything the wrong color. I have. Don't worry. We've been fixing things for you. And we'll fix your goggles up too. Right, TK? I'm sure I've got just the thing to clean them up. Let's see. A toothbrush? No. That's too small for this job. Well? Hmm. No, too scratchy. Aha! A sponge! This is perfect for cleaning goggles. <laughs> Just let me do a little wiping and... Ta-da! 
voila! A masterpiece! Wow! Everything looks so different! The sky and the ground and the paintings and the sculptures and... Wow! You really are mixed up, aren't you? Can you help him? He needs orange paint. Hmm... How about more pink? You look fabulous in pink. I just need to mix red and... Yellow! Red and yellow make orange! That's it! I haven't mixed the right colors yet. <laughs> All right! Looks like it's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Orbit, TK, and I got all mixed up by the color popper. So we went to the paint planet. There was a silly painter robot who was turning everything different colors. We discovered the painter's goggles were dirty, and that's why he was painting everything strange colors. You have to keep your goggles clean to see well. By helping the painter, Orbit finally remembered the secret to making orange. You have to mix red and yellow. We finally had our pal back to normal again. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Five, four, in outer space, and there was a message inside. What does it say? It says, X marks the spot where the treasure is buried. And look, it has a pirate ship drawn on it. Oh, oh, oh! It's a map! It's a map! Ooh, it's not just a map. It's a pirate's treasure map! Signed by Nosebump the Pirate. <gasps> pirate pirate treasure? treasure? I've never gone on a treasure hunt before. <laughs> that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? It's time for us to pick a planet. Pirate's treasure map, but we have no idea where to go. There's nothing more exciting than hunting for pirate treasure. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Ooh, lunchtime planet. Yum. A healthy lunch is important, but I don't think we'll find pirate treasure there, TK. Now that looks like a place where we can find pirate treasure. Yes, the Buccaneer Planet. Buccaneer is another name for pirate. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Planet. 
for. Oh, I know. Those are the four main directions on a map. N for north, E for east, S for south, and W for west. North should always be on the top. The first direction says to go north to Nosebump Ship. But which way is north? <gasps> Look! with directions? Hmm. A compass, yes! It has four main directions, just like a map. North, east, south, and west, right? And a compass's needle always points north towards the North Pole, no matter where you go. See? So if north is that way, east has to be this way. East, here, cave. Looks just like a giant ear. We found ear cave. And look! It's a picture of a skull and key. Just like the one on the map. On the map. On the map. Ooh, that's so cool. cool. It's our voices bouncing off the walls of the cave. It's called an echo. Hello! Tell us where we are. Here. 
X marks the spot where the treasure's buried. Like treasure. Find me! After all these years, you've helped me find my precious treasure. I buried it for safekeeping, but lost me map. <laughs> <laughs> made a fun new friend. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we found a pirate's treasure map. So we went to Buccaneer Planet in search of buried treasure. Buccaneer is another word for pirate. Orbit taught us that a map can help you find things. But something making a scary noise found us instead, so we made a run for it. We learned that to read a map properly, you need to know what direction you're going. TK had a compass that showed where north, south, east, and west are. That way, we could follow the clues on the map. In the end, the scary noise was just a friendly robot pirate. He made strange noises because he couldn't find his jaw. That's what the treasure was. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye. after her cousin Mia space cat Violet. Violet needs something, but we don't know what it is. Hmm. Check the list Mia gave you, Emma. Everything a pet needs. Number one, a pet needs food. Food, check. Number two, a pet needs water. Water, check again. Three. A pet needs a place to go to the bathroom. Ew. Litter box, check. That's everything on the list. Violet obviously needs something. Oh, I'm a terrible pet sitter. <sighs> hmm, maybe Mia forgot to put something on the list. But what? What does Violet need? A mission, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We're taking care of Emma's cousin, Space Cat Violet. She needs something, but we don't know what it is. Oh, I love pets. Let's see if I can help you. 
round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, the water planet. But I don't think Violet wants to go swimming. Oh, what about the stinky foot planet? Ew. No, I don't think anyone wants to go there. Now that looks like a place that we might find what Violet needs. Yay! The pet shop planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Must be toys. Uh, wait! Ooh. Ooh, oops! <laughs> oh, hey! Oops, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, toy bones are for dogs, not space cats or robots. <laughs> Don't worry, Violet. We'll find whatever it is you need. Right, Rob? Right, Emma. This place is huge. So we can split up and search for the space cat department. Violet, you be a good cat and stay here. Look like the space cat department. This must be for the P O U S S. Huh? The pets of unusual size. Yes, Orbit. It must be for some really huge alien hamster. But that still doesn't help Violet. I don't know, Emma. This is pretty fun. Maybe Violet would like it. Woohoo! <laughs> faces look funny. But I don't think Violet wants a fishbowl or fish food.
just getting tired. We've got to help Robin orbit, but we're still no closer to finding out what Violet wants. Look out! that hamster wheel. A little higher. And there! TK, find something to get the wheel fastened in place. Tape can fix a lot of things, but it's not going to work for this. TK, hurry! Uh. Ooh, my favorite wrench! I'm getting closer. TK, hurry! Aha! This bolt is perfect! <laughs> I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Mia's pet space cat needed. So we traveled to the pet shop planet. There was everything for every kind of space pet there. We learned that there are things every pet needs. Food and water and a place to go to the bathroom. Ew! <laughs> we also learned that a pet needs a toy to play with to give it exercise. It was also a good way for us to play with her. All pets need lots of love, too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Bye, Pet Shop Planet. Did I fool you? Come on in, you're just in time. Long before there were people on Earth, there lived giant reptiles called dinosaurs. Ooh. And the most terrible tempered dinosaur of all was the Tyrannosaurus Rex. He was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived. <gasps> Tyrannosaurus Rex stood about 20 feet tall. That's almost as tall as the rocket. And he could eat up to 500 pounds of meat in one bite. Yeah! Oh, sorry, Squeak. Wow, dinosaurs sound scary. I think they sound cool. Where do they live? Dinosaurs no longer exist. They've been extinct for 65 million years. Extinct? <laughs> extinct, Orbit. Extinct means they're no longer alive. Mm. The only thing left of the dinosaurs are old fossils and bones. Ah. Mm. Hey, maybe we could find a place that collects fossils and dinosaur bones. How cool would that be? Yes, a dinosaur exhibit. And that's 
sounds like we have ourselves a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. help you today. We want to find a dinosaur exhibit, but we're not certain where to look. Oh, that's a tricky one. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, race planet. <laughs> I love racing. Racing is a lot of fun, TK, but I don't think we'd find dinosaurs on that planet. Oh, I love the theater. We could put on a play. That would be a great place if we wanted to dress up like a dinosaur, but I don't think we'll find any bones there, Emma. Oh, what about this planet? It looks like it might be a good place. You chose the museum planet. Museums carry all sorts of ancient bones and marvelous wonders. Excellent choice. Okay then, get ready for countdown. fun putting it back together. Just think, a life-size dinosaur puzzle. They dip the quill in that bottle of ink and write on the parchment. 
Parchment is like paper we use today, but really, really rough. Cool! There's more drooly slime over here. Hmm. And a helmet is missing. Huh? What could make such a mess? We're the only ones here. <laughs> Where'd my toy go? <laughs> oh, catapults! Knights used them in ancient times to throw things at castles, like spears and rock. I like to rock. you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we learned that dinosaurs lived long before they were people, but have been extinct now for over 65 million years. But you can still see exhibits of dinosaur bones and fossils in museums, so that's where we went. We found an awesome display of a Tyrannosaurus rex, but there was a problem. He was missing the bone that formed his arm. We discovered a robot dog had taken the dinosaur bone and a bunch of other stuff, including my toy. Poor little guy, he just needed his own toy to play with. We finally put the missing bone back in its place and made a fun new friend. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, doggy! Goodbye, Museum Planet! Hi, everyone. You're just in time. Yay! <laughs> the Intergalactic Space Olympics are coming up and we're all getting ready. I'm getting ready for the 100 meter sprint. <laughs> the Space Olympics are gonna be great, aren't they, Orbit? Um, yeah, I, uh, I 
can't wait. Gee, Orbit, you don't sound very excited. What is there to be excited about? I'm not going to the Space Olympics. Huh? You're not going? Why not? It's so much fun. Maybe if you're fast like TK, or can do the long jump like Emma, or can do the high jump like you, but I can't do any of those things. I'm just gonna stay in the rocket and play with my new toy. Oh, a toy. What is it? A camera. Orbit, you can't give up on the Space Olympics so easily. You need to try new things and see what you're good at. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We need to find something for Orbit to do at the Space Olympics. That's a great idea. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Spring Planet! That looks like fun! It does, but I don't think they use springs in the Space Olympics. Pillow Planet. It's so soft and bouncy. Perfect for falling down. Sports Planet! That's perfect! Yes, the Sports Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for Countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt! about sports. It's not about winning. It's about doing your best. And having fun. It's hard to have fun when you know you're gonna lose. You just need to find out what you're good at, Orbit. Come on, let's go. It's the long jump. Orbit, you'll love this. Let's give it a try. You go first. Um, how about if Rob goes first? <laughs> Okay. left to try.
the bar, please. Ooh. <gasps> Amazing! Whoa. Your turn, Orbit. <sighs> Lower the bar, please. Practicing hurts. Everyone's good at something. How about racing? Oh no, we're missing a finish line. What can we do? I must have something we can use. Let's see. A string? Mm, that won't work. It's too hard to see. Hmm. Wood? No, that's too hard. Hold on. How about this? That's perfect, TK. <laughs> <laughs> We're all set. Ready, Orbit? Orbit? I think I hurt myself on the high jump. I can't move in a straight line anymore. Oh, no. Your treads are bent. I could fix them, but only back at the rocket. But you should be racing too. It's okay. I'll try racing some other day. You guys have fun. it would be. It was fun. Who won? I couldn't tell. I know who won. I do. I took a picture of the finish line. Look. It was TK. Yay for TK. And yay for Orbit. What a great picture. Great job, Orbit. Now we know what you can do. You can be the Space Olympics photographer. That's just as important as being an athlete. You can do your best at what you like to do and have fun, too. You're right. I can. I can't wait for the Space Olympics. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... Planet to help Orbit find something he could do at the Space Olympics. First, we tried the long jump. It was fun, but not right for Orbit. Then we tried the high jump. It still wasn't quite right for Orbit. Then we had a race. Wow, you even look fast, TK. Orbit didn't run the race, but he found out what he's really good at, taking pictures. Those are amazing pictures, Orbit. Great job. What a great day. Lots of fun. And even better, each of you found out that you're good at something. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Bye.